A huge welcome to everybody. This is our game of the week. Tremendous buzz in the stadium. You can feel the energy building. Fan base is looking forward to this one, and we're right there with them. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see, the number 17 team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. will kick this deep to get us going. Return starts from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. The Bulldogs offense will get the first swing today. Here we go. You can feel the juice in this building. What a privilege, Kirk, to be part of this rivalry game. Well, there's nothing like rivalry games. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. They're just trying to establish the run. There's not much there, but give credit to that defensive line and those linebackers attacking the line of scrimmage to negate any chance at all. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Boy, a great play here by a Clemson defender. It makes you think of all these great Clemson defenders they've had over the years, like... The Fridge, or Daquan Bowers, Vic Beasley, Grady Jarrett, and of course, most recently, Miles Murphy, who got drafted just a few years ago. Always great defensive linemen allows this defense to be athletic, and with players like this, it's just a defense you do not want to face. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to... Again, he's just trapped and sacked in the pocket. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field in that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defensive line plenty of time to come up with that sack. And now it's fourth down and long. The Bulldogs will bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. He boots it away from inside his own end zone. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. So Clemson's offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. And how about the game within a game today? The running back coming downhill, the linebacker coming up to meet him. We expect some collisions on this field today. Yeah, this linebacker's going to have his hands full because this running back is a difficult guy to contain. Both guys know where each other's going to be lined up at all times. It's just going to come down to which guy can come up and make a play against the other. Rush set it out to the offense. First down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. He's got a man down the middle. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. He'll try to run it in on first and goal. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. A solid gain puts him in good position for second down and goal. He'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. And Kirk, how important is that to get off to a positive start to draw first blood in a rivalry game like this? Well, Chris, as you know, in a rivalry game, there's so much emotion. So to be able to put a touchdown on the board first just sets the tone for a big day. Try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And it's 7 0 after the PAT. The kickoff team on the field now is a is set to send this one away. Fields it inside the five yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together with this run? It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. And 
the same runners got it again. Now uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back, it's Beck. Pressure is coming. He's sacked. He'll be brought down right at the five-yard line. Good pressure here by this defense, but it felt like the quarterback held on to the ball a little bit too long to come up with that sack for the D. The Dogs will send the punt team onto the field. Looking to kick it away for the second time. So from his own end zone, he gets the kick away. Running it back, it's Brown. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. He's running out of time here. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. And Sack sets up second down. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Brown. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. And they've got him at the four, but a big gain in that catch and run. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defense coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot, but I think the reality is seeing it now in person. I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense, or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the eight. Flying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. He moves the ball to the four. It's third down and goal. Scanning the field, it's club Nick. On the junior, gets home making a sack there. Now that is stepping up by this defense and coming up with a great play now. Third and goal, you come up with a sack. Backs against the wall, they get this sack, and now forcing them into a possible field goal, and that's a win for the defense. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. It'll be a 34-yard try. Long enough and good. And that will extend their lead even further. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fields it just outside the goal line. Tough running there. They get him down, but he found a good lane in that return. So the drive starts with pretty decent field position. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Pre-snap motion from the offense. Running back has it on the screen now. Breaks loose at the 45. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw. And that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set. It's second down. Back to throw. It's back. 
receiver makes the grab. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Third down, out of the shotgun. Running out of time in the pocket. A lot of time to throw. Couldn't find a receiver, and they swallow him up. Now the defense goes with that nickel, gives him more speed on the field, and I think they did a nice job of taking every option this quarterback had, nowhere to go with the football, and eventually they get the set. And the Bulldogs will line up to punt it away. And it's a solid punt headed toward the sideline. And he puts it out of bounds, so no return. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. And he's got some room to work. And the play is good enough for a first down. They'll move the ball to the 44. And the Tigers come to the line in the hurry up. The big fellow's Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge gain. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back. Just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain in the first down. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. The offense facing a tough conversion here. Third and long from the 42. Drop him back. Look at the throw for the first down. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. So Clemson has the lead here, Kirk, as we head to the quarter break. Solid performance so far, creating some separation. Here's the first quarter stats. We'll see if this game gets out of hand before halftime, the crucial second quarter beginning right now. The Tigers will bring their punt team onto the field. And he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carrier. Now it's second down here. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Back to pass. It's back. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. And the downfield shot is incomplete. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Bringing pressure. He eludes the rush. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. Man, this pass rush has gotten home so many times. As an offense, I know you're down, but you kind of try to mix it up. Maybe roll the quarterback out. Have your backs and tight ends chip at the line. Anything they can do, because what they've done up to this point, it's just not working. The dogs will have to kick it away. That's a rough series for the offense, and now he's on to punt it away. Coverage team able to bring him down. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. They start the drive with a quick throw to the left side. Breaking free at midfield. And he's marked out of bounds after an excellent game, but there is a flag on the battle. field. And this one might be coming back. Defense. Defense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Two backs set, quarterback flanked by the backs. He'll hand it off. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. And the quarterback dropping back. Looks like he's going to run it. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. 
Now it's third and short from the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. The pass rush closing in. And the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. Chris, this one's on the quarterback, in my opinion. He's got to have a better feel and a presence in the pocket to be able to either check it down or get rid of the ball. You just can't take the sack. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. It was on the mark with his last kick, but this one is from 50 yards away. The attempt is no good. He missed it. And after the miss, they're still leading by 10. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. And now you can see he's hanging his head for a kicker. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. He hands it off from the gun. Went it up the middle, but stuffed for no game. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Back to throw. It's back. Contact as he let the ball go. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. So the offense with the first and ten now. The football placed exactly at midfield. On the run, it's ETN. Defense able to stop the ball carrier there. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Defense is coming after him. Quarterback takes off now, looking to scramble. Could not get there on the scramble, short of the marker. And now a fourth down decision coming up. No kick it away here. And no chance for a return as the punch sails out of bounds. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Whiteout's now clustered. Grab behind the line, it's Brown. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Third down coming up after that running play. Dropping back, he's gonna throw for the first down. Using his legs here. And the junior quarterback shows his toughness, keeps this drive moving. Clemson getting set for the first and ten coming up. Handoff here from the shotgun. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. And now they'll run it on the draw. Breaks loose at the 40. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid game. Getting closer to midfield now. And the Tigers will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. So you're a defensive coordinator trying to stop this offense. Your eyes are in the backfield worried about that quarterback. He's going to run it or throw it. you got to worry about the receivers getting downfield and making big plays. And now, oh, by the way, you got a program that has great history at the running back spot. Guys like, think about it, Travis Etienne and C.J. Spiller. Backs they have here now on this roster. Boy, just so many different combinations and ways to attack him. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? To the air, it's Klubnik. Looking for the wide out. Oh, that one's picked off. And he's got some open field ahead. Out past the 30. That's a pick and a long return before finally being taken down. Boy, Chris, he hesitated just enough to give the defense a chance to get in position and come up with a big turnover. Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. 
The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. They'll hand it off. The gain is four, so it's second and six. And they'll use the ground game here. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, dogs. We had a short field. The offense did exactly what they're supposed to do. That would have been a big ask for the defense there, Kirk. Absolutely. But when you're given that kind of field position, anything less than a touchdown would be a disappointment. They did exactly what they needed to do by capitalizing on that short field. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. They'll return it from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. First down here. The offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Takes the handoff. It's green. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. And the clock stops now for the two-minute warning. A chance to strategize here before we reach halftime. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. It's a quick grab. They bring him down after a short gain there. Important third down play coming up after that completion. Drop him back. They're going to throw for the first down. The pocket. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. And the defense jumps on the football. That's a great play by the defender who forced the fumble, but let's also recognize the heads-up play from the guy who recovered it. They were in the right place at just the right time. First and goal, an opportunity to take the lead before halftime. Looking to pass, it's back. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Bulldogs! That is great job here by this offense, taking advantage of a big opportunity provided to them by their own defense after that turnover. And why wait? They get aggressive, make the throw, and it pays off for a touchdown. And they'll set up now for the extra point trial. Extra point makes the lead four. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. Pressure is coming. And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Pass protection, a serious issue. Another sack makes it second and long. Fires it to the wideout. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. They bring him down with the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. First down, we're going to throw the ball. Let's it go quickly. Catch made a lot of space now. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Well, perfectly thrown football here, and this quarterback's got to be fired up. It's his first passing touchdown of the season. Here's the first of hopefully many more for this young man. Puts them up three. Kickoff team is on the field to move this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. 
And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Quick throw to the left. He's got it for a big game. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first to the half. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. Looking to throw. It's back. Catch made on the sideline, but they get nothing out of it. Second down play coming up for this offense. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And they make the stop, but the screen pass fools the defense enough to pick up first down yardage. The offense calls time to stop the clock. Georgia setting up with a first and ten now. Here comes a throw from the red zone. He's running out of time here. And got him. Defense comes up with a sack. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks alone in this game. This pass rush has been a problem. Another sack sets up second and long. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. Running out of time in the pocket. Pressure coming, and they've got him again. And now the offense will call a timeout here. Something they didn't like about what they saw there. Wanting to make an adjustment for this critical down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And the protection breaks down yet again. Another sack. If this team can hold on today and win, this pass rush deserves all the credit in the world. They have gotten after this quarterback so many times. Really, every time the opposing offense does something positive, it feels like a sack just stops any progress. The dogs bring their punt team onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. And the kick bounces and goes out of bounds down near the goal line. Outstanding work by the punter. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that, let's go back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. Important possession here to begin the third quarter as they try to continue momentum from the first half and build on this lead. With the catch, it's Brining Stewart. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Split backfield here. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. So a very makeable third down for the offense with a 29. Can he get there on the ground? Runs through the defender. Brought down after a solid run by the senior. First down here for this offense. Back to pass. It's club Nick. Let's it fly out of the wide out. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Second down after that previous play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Boy, what an incredible push by this defensive line. And if you're going to survive in the SEC, the teams that really separate themselves are the teams that have great defensive linemen, especially in the interior. And Georgia has had an incredible legacy over the years. And it's nice to see that this player right here is trying to live up to that. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. 
Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Pressure comes, and once again, no escape. Well, that's exactly what the coach, I'm sure, talked about there at halftime, is the defense is going to be out there on the field first. We're down in this football game. we got to get pressure on this offense, come up with some plays, and get the ball back to our offense. And that's exactly what they have a chance to do now. The Tigers will send their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? On the ground, it's ETN. They continue to feed the running back, but he has had nowhere to go today. They've been getting low into the line of scrimmage. Second down, we're going to throw it. And he finds his tight end for the catch. The tackle him at the 38. Solid game. Nice play there. High completion, good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. And they pick up the first on the ground. Brought down, but it's past the line of the game. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Great cut there. Brought down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And he'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. Third down play now, trying to keep this impressive drive going. Looking to pass, it's Beck. Bringing pressure. Got him for a sack, a big play. Made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. You know, a lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one -on -one battles with the receivers and the DBs. Here's a great example of up front, the offensive line and the defensive line. Who wins that battle? This time the defense wins it and they get the sack. The Bulldogs will bring their punt team on the field now. It's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. With the return, it's Brown. The return is brought down. It's a start with the next drive. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. Solid run. They'll bring it back at the 28-yard line. Important second down play coming up. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. A running play keeps the offense fresh set of downs. He'll hand it off. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Second down play coming up. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Not much on that play. Brought down short. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. Looks like he didn't get the snap off in time. That'll cost him five yards. Delay of game, game, game. Offense. Offense. Dangerous play call here after that five-yard penalty. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. Looking to throw. It's Klubnik. The pass rush closing in. He's going to take off. So the scramble comes up short. And now this offense facing a fourth down play. They'll kick it away here. On the return, it's Lovett. 
He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. He gains nine, so it's second and one. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. So Georgia will have the first down. A solid run, good for first down yardage. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Nice, solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. And the wideout goes in motion. And here's the handoff. A quick juke. Breaks the tackle, gets into the clear. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. And it's been an old-school ground game duel. These running backs have been putting on a show so far today. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. Handoff from the shotgun. And he's tackled down at the four yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. And the quarterback keeps it here. They bring him down after a gain. Looks like they'll spot it inches short of a first down. Here we go, third down, close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. Try and muscle for the first down. And the defense rises up and stops him short on third down. So now we'll have a field goal attempt, one of the biggest moments of this game so far. And it's good right down the middle. And the game now tied here in the final quarter. And I tell you, life of a kicker. This guy's not been cold on the entire game. Probably cold as ice on the sideline. But when it matters, he's hot as a stove when his number's called. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And here's the return from inside the five. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's where they'll start the drive. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. Can they begin to click now? That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Dropping back. It's Klubnik. Quick throw to his receiver. Makes the catch downfield. That gain is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Getting set. Here's second down. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And he's going to float this one to the right side. Trying to go very deep there. Good effort. Now it's third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back. Looking to throw for it on third down. Defense is coming after him. But well, he scrambled and scrambled. Doesn't get the ball away. And he's finally dropped for a sack. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there. And the Tigers will line up to punt it away. Looking to flip the field here. And the returner is tackled by this one coverage team. The Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? 
They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Here's the second down play. Receiver in motion now. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. The pocket breaking down. Cannot escape and down he goes. I like the call here, but you can't run long developing play action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Pressure is coming. And they've got him again. That ferocious pass rush back to back sacks. Interesting call here by the defense in their dime set with six defensive backs. Instead of manning up and applying pressure on the receivers, they sit back, make it tougher on the quarterback, make him have to read their zone coverage. He gets confused and allows the defensive line to get to the quarterback. The dogs will line up to boot it away. And this drive moves backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Bringing it back, it's Brown. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but solid gain on the return. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. And they finally get things going this time. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. Fires it to the wide out. It's caught downfield. He's taken down, but that's a nice game. They'll spot the ball now at the 35. The back's got it. Fighting off the defender. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. And the junior able to get home with the sack. back we're going to throw for the first down and the pressure gets to him again the Tigers will have to kick this away Hunter Getting a workout here on for the fifth time today. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. After a first down loss, it's second and long from their 25. Looking downfield, it's back. On the run, he'll let it go. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. And the single back takes the handoff. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackle is finally made, but not before. It's a huge gain down to the 25. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. Keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off of play action, but keep hammering away with that run game. And he drops back in the gun. He's got it near the end zone. And he'll be brought down. 
A solid first down gain sets the ball up close to the goal line, and they finish it off here on second and goal. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Georgia. And they'll claim the fourth quarter lead. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield. Or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. And they get set now to try the PAT. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Return starts from inside the five. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. The last drive, they came up empty. Had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? To throw, it's Klubnik. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle made after a big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes him pay for it. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Looking for the wide out. He makes the grab. Breaks a tackle into the clear. Tackle is made, but it's a big game. They'll move the ball to the 25-yard line. And the Tigers come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. And we reach now the two-minute warning. Sets up as a dramatic finish as this offense tries to grab the lead late here. Looks downfield and connects with a wide-open wide receiver. Touchdown, Clemson. Still no answer for this offense. What a touchdown here with under two minutes to go. And the big question now, Chris, is do you kick this extra point to tie it up or do you go for two to potentially take the lead? Either way, your defense still is going to have to go out there and make some plays. Here's the point after attempt. And that PAT gives us a tie ball game here in the final quarter. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Looking to throw it on first down. Fires it to the wideout. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Big game moves the ball across midfield to the 45. First down, looking to throw the football. Pulls it in. It's Love it. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Second down after that completion. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at this stage of the game. And a timeout is called late in this tie game. Crucial choices coming up. He's running out of time here. Cannot get the throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this stage of the game. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look. And they'll make an adjustment before this important play. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. Running it back, it's Brown. And they've got the returner Corral. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Look at out throwing here to start the drive. It's a short completion of the tight end. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. The offense with one last chance to win it here, or we're going to overtime. But to the air, it's Klubnik. Running out of time in the pocket. 
He'll be taken down. The defense rises up with a sack at a crucial moment. Well, the quarterback makes a mistake here. That's football 101. Once you get outside of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation and not take the sack, especially in the fourth quarter. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. And the single back takes the handoff. The defense all over. They stop him right at the line. Now the timeout is called by the defense. We've got some things to work out here. The Tigers will have to punt this one away. He's on to boot it away now. With the return, it's Lovett. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Bringing pressure. Oh, and it's intercepted. Terrible mistake late in the game. Personal foul. Roughing the pass for defense. And the defense cannot believe it. The interception is going to be wiped out. Roughing the passer is the call. The pass rush closing in. Decides not to throw it and will take an enormous loss on this sack. The offense spends a timeout. The clock stopped with just 10 seconds left. They look to throw it here on second down. And the pass is incomplete. We're down to just four seconds remaining. The offense facing a tough conversion here. Third and long from the 42. To throw, it's back. And now another deep ball here. And it's caught inside the 10. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. Man, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield and you get a call like this. Well, you love to see a game for come down to the final possession. So who's going to have the football last? And they were able to make plays and come out with a win. Yeah, not only the final minutes, but the final drive. And that entire unit looked calm, cool, and collected. It was well called by their offensive coordinator, and this defense just couldn't stop them when they needed to. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Curb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.